Uh, she is behind so many songs that we love, and now we know that right now the Queen of Soul is fighting for her life. Family members say that Aretha Franklin is gravely ill at a hospital in Detroit, Michigan. Her career has made her famous and taken her all over the world. And as Kevin Rader explains tonight, one of the more recent stops was one right here in Indianapolis. I want you to show some respect for me. She's known as the Queen of Soul, one of, if not the, greatest singer of all time. Welcome to Indianapolis. One of her very last performances took place February of 2017, right here in Indianapolis. When she performed for the Community Health Network Foundation Gala. So here I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's Aretha Franklin. Oh my gosh, it's the Queen of Soul. And she was here, and she was thanking us for the opportunity to be able to help others. It just left a lasting impression upon me of her generous and caring nature that she has. As it turns out, Aretha Franklin has a history with the Community Health Network, specifically right behind me here, Community North, when she came here in June of 2011 to be treated for a broken toe. I guess things come full circle. You, you just never know. But we are so deeply honored, and I'm so saddened to hear of her illness because she is a wonderful, generous person. Our own Andrew Moorhead served as the MC for a performance that truly showed how Franklin had earned her title as the Queen of Soul. It was a 90-minute uh, performance that she sang nonstop, and it was absolutely incredible. She missed not a note. It was perfect. We have raised a record $1.6 million! The legacy of a legend. Kevin Ray, Channel 13, Elvis Dean. Yeah, what a voice and what a career. Just last year, Aretha Franklin announced she would retire. She won 18 Grammy Awards during her career. And along the way, she broke barriers, becoming the first female artist to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That was in 1987. Mm.